Hi guys, the USO One Programming, finally back with another video. I know it's been like two months since the last one, but I've been really busy with Science Olympiad, so um, uh, let's just jump right in. So I thought I'd do a quick video today about, whoa, about standards, so and what they are, and the types. My epic skills in uh, painting. So, um... Did I even spell that right? I don't know. So, um, right here, uh, there's two standards in C, C89, this is just their names, and uh, C99. And you might have figured this out, but um, C89 was published in 1989, and C99 was published in 1999. So, um, first let's see what is a standard. So, uh, if you've been assembling chairs lately, like I have, uh, you might have seen on the bottom of them that it says that, um, uh, this chair conforms to the California flammability standard. So that just means that outlined somewhere are a list of requirements that all products must pass when they are, um, uh, if, if they conform to the standard, basically, that means that they, that they have all of these requirements. They meet all of those requirements. So, basically, that means that the chair that I was assembling, since it conforms to that standard, it means that it's probably a pretty safe chair in terms of flammability. So, um, uh, C89 and C99 are just C standards, and, um, uh, any com uh, there's a list of requirements for each one, so this one may have, like, three lines, obviously a lot more, but that's just symbolic, and this one might have a few more, like, five lines. So, that just means that C99 has more requirements and more features that are required if a compiler needs to conform to them than C89 does. Um, so, uh, a compiler, a compiler that doesn't conform to one of these, uh, two standards is called non-standard, not surprisingly. So, non-standard compilers are generally shunned by the C community, so don't use non-standard compilers, unless you want to be shunned. So, um, uh, to what standard does our color, uh, Visual C++, uh, conform to? Well, Visual C++ is a C++ compiler. I might have said that in the beginning, in the first video, that is. So, um, C++ has its own standards, so, uh, so I think there's like C++, uh, 03, which is 2003, and then C++ 11, which was 2011. So, and there's supposed to be a couple more coming out, like C++ 14 and 17 or something. And, um, so these are C++ standards. You can't, these are just completely separate standards. Well, they, they're probably going to be... They're probably going to have some kind of um, relationship with these because C++ is a superset of C, so it has all of their features. But um, it's not going to have; uh, it's not going to conform completely to the C99 standard, nor is it going to conform completely to the C89 standard. So as we as we get into more advanced tro uh, topics, you might see this more often. But um, that's all you need to worry about. Just know about C89 and C99 because. Uh, in future videos, I'm probably going to refer to this, uh, like some random feature, as C99 only. That just means that C99 requires that it be implemented, and C89 doesn't. So, if you're using the C89 compiler, it won't work. So, that's all I wanted to do to avoid major explanations or long explanations in future videos. So, just made the video now. I might make another one today, but see you later.